hi guys good morning to you good afternoon good evening according to your time i don't know how this message is going to meet you but on this episode and this series is going to be workplace romance okay preaching against adultery and immorality is not the regular with me on this series okay we are touching that hidden part that shameful hidden part uh, where most people are bound but they find the expression okay so on this series i want to be talking about workplace romance therefore shall a man leave his father genesis 2 24 and leave his mother shall cleave bound unto his wife and they too shall be one flesh okay so i want to be looking at workplace romance on this series okay and this is part one of it okay uh the married man and the married woman in the night shift that isn't the regular no it sounds strange uh, that's the hidden kind of life that is not visible to the world because it seems shameful. Okay, but it is better to talk about some of those things. Okay, the married man and the married woman in the night shift. Why using night shift? It doesn't really end in night shift. Uh, it's all about bringing this person and bringing this person. This one leaving the husband apart. This one leaving the wife apart. This one becoming a couple in suppose workplace okay so let's talk about that hear this one very well the night is very essential night is very very when it comes to relationship night is very very important it's an important factor in home building in relationship building okay it's not because it is dark time it's because it's considered as the solitary time bible said god put first solitary in family okay is this calm time is a time of reasoning time of appreciation time of reasoning and having the same thinking about the life the past the present and the future okay and so it is not supposed to be a time of separation for a couple remember in matthew 3 25 matthew 30 25 bible says why men sleep the enemy is so tear so it's also a time considered a time of sleep Okay, but some people happen to work at night, which is true. There are companies work must be done, done at night. But our concern, our emphasis here is a couple, a partner of this person and a partner of this person coming to work together at night. Pastor God, what is wrong with that? It's not generally wrong, okay? We are looking into the loopholes, into the danger that such could create and bring in uh, destruction to homes to family remember we are preaching against adultery and immorality okay let's make it practical the night time or let's put it at the time of the the the, the time of husband and wife they are the time husband and wife are supposed to be together is a time of bond is a time of relationship is the time of discussion okay so let's is the time of building intimacy okay and so who you stay with determines what stay with you. You reason with someone that is with you. Okay? They have to be, if they have to be bonded, if they have to be intimacy, they have to be discussion. And the more we speak, the more we discover who we really are. The more we speak, the more we relate, the more we bond, the more we grow intimacy. That is why if you cannot speak to God, you can't really have intimacy with your father. So one of the greatest modes of building intimacy is staying together and talking together. Staying together. You want to fall in love? Talking together. You want to build a home? Staying together. And so we ought not to separate from our partners to stay too long, especially in a calm, solitary place, cool place, cool atmosphere, like night with another person. That's the truth. And the earlier we know it. And so imagine you, a married woman, a married man, leaving your partner at home from morning from night evening time evening time is usually people eat family eat together talk together relax together just together midnight everyone goes to their bed and imagine you are in a, another place entirely this one is a married man from the other side married woman from the other side and it's not once it's not twice this is your routine this is your life so you're spending every night together in winter in summer you are like the work, do you part? And then you are together. When you see money, they say, that do you part. That means go and live together. 
go and learn each other together. And now two people are now staying with each other for months, for weeks, and some two years. So they are not learning new things. They are not learning each other. These two people, beyond the work they are to do, because they relate together, because they talk together, because they stay together, they are not learning each other. And so emotion grows. Yes, relationship comes. Everything is growing. Affair is coming. Something is building up. Do you get that? The word cleave, the official man leave his family and cleave. And now another person's wife is not cleaving. You say, but it just will work it. Yes. Bible say make no room for the devil. Create no space. Because the truth is that you learn something by staying with something. It's not that you want to. But there's a room given to serpent. Adam, where are you? Eve was alone. And serpent came. Eve did not invite serpent. Did you get it? So it's dangerous. If you are opting for, you want to take permanent night shift as a married woman. Or a married man. You should be expecting danger. Because your husband is sleeping or your wife is sleeping. Or God, while you are sleeping, the enemy is sowing tears in your feet. So it's very, very dangerous. So the night time is very, very specific time for bonding for it and for intimacy. Remember, he spent time with serpent, and serpent entered by making them to disobey God. And in any other way that serpent can enter now is to cause you adultery. Most people didn't want to fall into that. But they stay too close. When you stay too close with another person, you begin to either hate the person by character or love the person by character. So it's dangerous, okay? So we spell it out the way it is. Uh, especially there are some sensitive places you work, care house, hospital. Uh, hospital is even different. Care house. So in fact, that's your atmosphere, that solitary place, that calm time, that cool time, that time you need somebody to speak with and you are just talking. And do you, you are saying, at times you go deeper without forgetting that you're not talking to your partner. It's dangerous. Emotion grows, okay, in solitary places. Loss, bound, come, affair starts. You can begin to, somebody who come close to begins to feed the send the aura. And if there is error in your partner, you are going to love this one. Okay, let's go to part two. Let's go and see more. My name is Pastor Goyama of the Very Other God Ministry, Cassian Spain. God told me go and preach against adultery and immorality. Let's go to part two of this series, Workplace Romance. God bless you.